Hello, this is Paul Palmer. Have you ever considered the impact of your story? Now, many of us watch TV and we spend time and we listen and we envisage the story and how it affects us and what, how we relate to it. But what about our own internal story? A long time ago, I read a book when I was working at Smith & Nephew. Smith & Nephew, the pharmaceutical manufacturer up in Hull, actually healthcare manufacturer, because they do a lot more than pharmaceuticals. It's devices, um, pharmaceuticals that are uh, external, internal. They do mm, uh, cosmetics, baby products, all sorts of things. Casting as well. That's the one I was trying to remember, casting. So when I was there, I was thinking about my story, not just about the story to date, but also how it was going to develop. And when I read The Fear of Freedom by Eric Fromm, I thought, well, this is why people settle. They settle for where they are now. They settle for what they're given. So I joined Smith and Nephew from school. Why did I join them from school? Well, it seemed the right thing to do at the time. I wasn't going to get into the course I wanted. And they were giving me the support I needed to get my degree. I thought, well, how can I lose? I get experience, I get money, and I get qualification. I wasn't really committed to my own story, though. I was just going with the flow. Now, in Nazi Germany, the people followed Hitler. Why? Well, he was telling a story. And he got everybody to break, buy into that same story. Gandhi. What did Gandhi do? Well, he was telling a story. And everybody bought in. Now, we have our own stories to tell. Think about it. If somebody asks you what you do, or who are you? What do you answer? I'm Paul, Paul Palmer, I'm a QP. Is that the real truth? It's what I do, but it's not who I am. So who are you really? Are you a scientist? Yep, I'm a scientist. I enjoy observing, I enjoy um, responding. I enjoy interaction. I enjoy research. I enjoy nature. So who am I really? What's my story? Well, I enjoy life. I have a family already. So that's the story that's gone. But what's the story to come? Well, the family is going to grow. That's my expectation. There's going to be grandchildren. The weddings are already happening. The relationships are already there. So it's a standard story. It's not something that I have to consider an influence. It's, it's normal. It's routine. But what else? What's your story? Okay, maybe you're an analyst. Maybe you're a new graduate. You've just completed your chemistry degree. Where do you go next? Where do you want to be? Well, if you just say, I want a job, then you're continuing to be that graduate. You're a new graduate and a new graduate story. And where do you go next? Where's the future? Well, when I was in my teens, I wanted, I set myself some goals. I wanted a family. I wanted a home. And I wanted enough money to pay. Oh, and I wanted to be happy. And I was. And I hit my goals. But then what? What's the next part of the story? Where's the next stage? Well, in the meantime, I decided I wanted to be a QP. But why? Was that going to be my identity, my story? No, it wasn't. The QP role I saw as the only one in pharmaceuticals which would always be needed. 
there's always going to be a requirement for somebody to have oversight to be prior to placing their product on the market. So I saw the technical role of qualified person as one that would guarantee me a future. A future in employment when I saw around me so many people being made redundant. Now, what's your story? If you're in pharmaceuticals and you're in the manufacturing area, what's your story? What's next? What opportunities can come up? How can you influence your story? Well, get involved, do something, learn more. I mentioned the other day that I believe in lifelong learning. Never stop. Always be looking for what's next, what new thing you can learn, what you can understand, but more importantly, what can you apply to your life? Learning for the sake of learning, why bother? Learning because it's useful, applying it, maybe teaching it, and influencing somebody else. Well, that's fun. And fun and enjoyment, joy, that's the spice of life, along with happiness. Have a good day, everybody. It's Paul Palmer, and I'll talk to you soon.